Being this a match, once again, we're about to the videos of the paid requests. It's time for David. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal, usually the best bet, or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. It could be a commentary, review, tier list, re-review, video game playthrough, what have you. Reaction. This is for three early episodes of Doctor Who. The Unearthly Child, The Dead Planet, and The Survivors. Now, before I start, I am a Doctor Who noob, as in I don't know jack shit about it. My experience with Doctor Who is this. Back in the day, on a farm in Iowa, we had four channels. ABC, CBS, a second CBS for some reason, and PBS. So back then, it was either on my downtime, either watching movies on VHS, maybe playing some video games, or reading some comic books, or if I watched TV, mainly ABC I saw, maybe a little bit of CBS. Once a blue moon, I would change it to PBS. I would see Sesame Street for five minutes, eh, because at that time I was watching films like Predator and Aliens. Fuck the Sesame Street shit. Or Reading Rainbow. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Which was like a game show for kids. But also deal with history and geography and stuff. Which I could never understand what the hell they were talking about. So I would not watch it for long. I just remember that fucking song. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And... Other shows would pop up, including Doctor Who. And as a kid, Doctor Who, I love the opening. I love the music. I love the theme music. It is so creepy, surreal. <clears throat> you have the, the time portal. <clears throat> I love that theme. I always, it, it treats me out when I was a kid. I'm, I'm doing a shit job of it. But then I would try to watch the episodes. I'd be like. Eh. Could never get into it. I know there are a lot of diehard fans of the show. It's okay. These are like the three early episodes. I still couldn't get in the show. My my favorite is Bart is the fucking theme song. I love the theme song. I just this show just isn't for me. I don't know if it's just these are the early early stages in 1963 on the BBC. They're in black and white. Very 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 cheap. I mean, if you think Star Trek looked cheap, this looked like it was a school play. It really did. It looked like they had eight. Uh, I was gonna say eighteen dollars, but more like seven dollars. And it's kind of not a whole lot happening, and very limited sets. And I kind of watch this going, why the fuck did this become so popular? I know I'm gonna get people pissed at me for it, but I really did feel that way watching these three. Why the fuck did this show get so popular? Well, what is it that that be a curious about what is it that people like about Doctor Who that I'm missing? Because you have an unearthly child, which for understand, I guess, if you try to stream it, you that episode won't pop up. Because I guess the guy who wrote it, he's passed away, but the son... This is what I heard. The son or relative of that writer of an unearthly and an earthly child. Something about he hates the way BBC and Doctor Who is nowadays. Because all the woke shit. So he won't sign off. Because he owns. Because people, you know. When they repackage it to other places. They need a little bit of, okay, fine. We get your permission. They didn't get his permission. So I guess they can't show that episode. But it was on... I think it was on Daily Motion that I saw this. 
but even very rough looking. And it stars William Hartnell as the first doctor. And you have his police telephone booth called the TARDIS that uses the travel time and space. And the way it's shot looks like it's handheld. And like the first episode where the two teachers talking about this lady called Susan and saying, well, how come she understands this, but she doesn't understand that? She understands this, but she doesn't understand that. She's smart about certain things, but she's not smart about other things. So they're talking and talking, then they follow her. They see that she disappeared in this phone booth. They don't follow her, but then there's the doctor. And he says, pretty much, leave us alone. Get the fuck out of here. You don't belong here. What the fuck are you doing here? Just without the cursing. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if I saw, like, a different cut of this pilot. Because there's screw-ups where a lady goes, that's a fit, that a 15-year-old, because the, it was the, the female teacher, she says that a fifth, and then she stops and goes, that's a 15-year-old girl that we're doing, she screwed up, she screwed up the word 15, like literally she said, that's a fifth, that's a 15, I'm like, wait, she just screwed up and there's no second take? This is like it was done live, like a stage play. Was that how it is back in the day they did Doctor Who? The, there's another one. Which was it? I think there's another one. I forget if it was this episode or another. Where even the guy who played Doctor Who, he tried to say something. He didn't say it right, so then he... Repeats the sentence, but says it right that time. And then they're arguing. They go in. They see how all the stuff in this lot bigger than it looks on the outside. They explain what the TARDIS is. They explain who the doctor is. The teachers don't believe them. They start it up. The girl is the doctor's granddaughter. Which I didn't even know the doctor had granddaughters and, and that type of stuff. Didn't show us how little I fucking know of this character. They start up. We don't really see anything. Then they're in the desert. A shadow pops up. Which is a cool looking shot. Sort of the TARDIS here. And here you see the shadow pop up on the ground. Like there's a figure off screen. And then the music. I'm like that was the best shot of the episode. That was the last shot. But I'm sitting there going, God damn, this looks rough. This looks rough. It looks like someone's home movie. And even the others, like the dead planet, they walk around this planet, very cheap looking sets, where there's this solidified animals made of metal, and this planet seems like it's totally dead, and then they see a city. So then Doctor Who fucks up his machine on purpose and says, oh, we need to fix this. We need Mercury. He lied because he wanted to go in the city while the others didn't. They look around some more. They split up. The female teacher gets trapped. And she's like, she's looking around. And there's even a point that she literally puts like this on the camera. Like she'll do this on the walls. And when she's over here, she literally does this. I'm like, is that really, do you really want to do that? Uh, apparently so. And then this thing that looked like either a meat thermometer or a microphone or a little plunger go towards her. Like, uh, you know, I don't even know. Yeah, like go towards her and she's like, Ah, and then the episode ends and then the third one the survivors that's her introduced to the Daleks because I know that's the main that's like the big villain of the show kind of like the Borg as Star Trek Next Generation that's like the big villain people mention 
pertain to that show where there's these robots and obviously that theme was that a microphone was that a little plunger was their little arms and how our main characters have now radiation sickness that's why they're sick and that's why they're foggy their, their heads are getting more foggy the their prisoners a neutron bomb had happened here there's an aftermath apparently there's people out there we haven't seen them yet there was the shadow at the end of the first episode and that there's mutations outside we haven't seen them yet and then they show their power where they make the male teachers legs give out like he's paralyzed but the robots go that's temporary you fuck with us some more it's gonna be permanent I'm like, great job, Doctor Who. Like, if you weren't such a fucking asshole and stole your own fucking part, and y'all wouldn't be in this shit sandwich. So the, pretty much, the robots are figuring why you here, blah blah blah. Some about drugs. You better does these drugs that the mutations humans use. We really don't give a shit if you live or die. We just need this. So we can figure out how these mutations are still staying alive up top and whatever the fuck else the Daleks are going to do. I don't really get what their plan is anyway. So the granddaughter runs outside. You think she's going to go through some obstacles? No. She just runs through. No one stops her. No one attacks her. She's not chased. She just gets to the fucking Doctor Who booth. Gets the, the drudge there. runs out then the episode's over so I'm sitting there going well <laughs> what the fuck really happened in three episodes it was we're introduced to who the doctor is and what the TARDIS is they land on a planet that looks dead and you don't really get to see much because they didn't have the budget for it they go into the city because Doctor Who is too Put his nose in people's business. They get caught. The robots say, How the fuck do you survive? All the humans up there survived and they're mutated, but you're not. Fine, we need these drugs to study and stuff to see how the mutations up there are dealing with it or what the fuck their plan is. The granddaughter go gets it. Th that's it. And that's three episodes. <laughs> so I'm sitting there going. Apparently, I'm the guy that's out of the loop. People have to explain what is it about these three. And I looked up reviews and saw how it's... Some of these reviews are just confusing. I mean, if you like it, that's cool. But I'm just... My friend Michael Keane, I know he's a big Doctor Who fan. Please. I hope he sees this and comments on what I'm missing, man. I have these three episodes. What the fuck was I missing? Because I didn't see anything, but they look like... Cheap home movies where nothing happened. I don't know what, I mean, there's really nothing in terms of dialogue. Like, oh, that was a really rhetor, or you really get to know much about the doctor in terms of his background. Eight point one. You know, the reviews like, no, not the picture. These are the reviews. Not the rating. Stop fucking around. Stop moving. Click on the goddamn thing. Thank you. Can you imagine what seeing this in 1963 would have been like? What a cheap home movie where people are messing up their lines and they're in a fucking junkyard? Doctor Who adds best? If this is his best, then I don't want to watch it. Unless it's a paid request, then I'll pretty much do anything. <laughs> Genuine sense of mystery? On what?
Whoa, a mystery and intrigue? You really do question everything? How do you question everything? Unnerving? What was unnerving about it? I don't, know, I don't know what fucking show they watched. Okay, finally, someone, 4 out of 10. I'm a big Doctor Who fan, but I admit I was not into the program at its origin. This is a telescope of live TV. When an actor flubs a line, and that happens with some frequency, there is no edit and retake. This is how it went out over the air. The boom mic at the top of the picture happens more than once. The sets and costumes are pretty cheesy. The backgrounds are obviously painting on flats. In short, this does not show the production values and quality of more recent seasons. You have to start somewhere. Telescope of live TV. Huh. Well, there you go. I'm glad I looked that up. So apparently that was the reason for it. Okay. So thank you, Charles Damick, who wrote this March 2021. Thank you for educating me on something. I'm sure he'll never see this and be like, who the fuck is that guy with the fucking glasses? So... Uh, Lastly, Hart now is his least favorite incarnation of the Doctor. He's infuriating and obtuse. He doesn't really do the heavy lifting on the story. The school teachers tear the narrative and are the stars. Heavy handed foreshadowing and predictability. Okay, then. Obviously, I'm probably more towards him than anybody else. <laughs> so, and that's from a Doctor Who fan. But it's like the only one everyone else is like 10, 10, 9, 10. So, there you go. But yeah, this is one of those things I'm just watching going, what the fuck am I missing? And what the fuck was this? <laughs> like, the, the thumbnail should be like this. Like, confused. I mean, hell, the original Star Trek was cheap looking too, but it felt like there was more going on and ambitious with you know, the different planets and the different aliens and different other stuff going on, even among three episodes and the cast. Like the Doctor, I didn't really care about the Doctor in this. He just seemed like an asshole. He just seemed like an asshole. And he fucked over the teachers, didn't bring them back, couldn't bring them back home. Uh, that he didn't fucked up his own equipment to lie to them and go into the city and fuck them over there. So as I said, he, he seems like he has done nothing. He's an asshole. Uh, the two school teachers are wide-eyed as, you know, they're seeing this for the first time. But I think they did what they could. I would say their acting wasn't that bad for the circumstances. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I apologize to David and the Doctor Who fans. Um, how do you... <laughs> Just a bunch of Doctor Who fans be like... Poo, 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 poo. <laughs> Knock out punch. <laughs> so, I apologize, but... I love that theme, even though those, even here in 19, I love that theme song. Ba -dum -dum -ba -dum -dum -dum. I, I do love that theme. So, with that said, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.